Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So, you know, you, you look you look at the tape today and you see, you know, the Dow down a little less than 600 points. You know, but when you when you look at the tape, when you actually look at the tape, the, the bulls almost they kind of had a win today, right? And again, it doesn't appear that way uh, on the surface. And a lot of people will talk about like, you know, what, what glue am I sniffing? But it, again, in, in this type of environment, you really have to hold on to the little things, right? If, if you look at last night, okay, you had futures lock limit down, okay? Um, pretty bad, okay? By the time I woke up, uh, they were cut in half. Losses were cut in half. And by the time that the pre-market rolled around, you know, the normal time that people woke up, you had a big, big spike in the futures. Uh, Fed announced they're buying back unlimited amounts of uh, treasuries, mortgage-backed securities, so forth and so on, basically QE to infinity and beyond, okay? And the market took off, went from down 500 to up, blah, blah, blah. And again, guys, I, I keep on reiterating this point, especially new traders, okay? If you buy any type of gap up, you know, majority of the times after any type of selling, just, just always keep this in mind. I know a lot of new traders get excited. This is the generational bottom the next day. This is the generation bottom the following week. This is the, okay, you'll figure out when the generation bottom is. We're going to be rallying two, three months after the generational bottom, okay? Nobody can spot the generational bottom. But the, the, the one thing that I keep on reiterating over and over again, Anytime you get a gap up in anything, okay, there's a 90% chance, 95% chance if you're buying into that gap up, you're buying into supply. This is not the first time you heard me say this. You're not gonna, this is not going to be the last time you saw this. Anytime you get a gap up in a bear scenario, the value is always to the downside. And always keep this in mind. You know, not only is this a really aggressive financial situation that we're looking at, and again, uh, Guys, you have to support your small business, okay? Instead of, again, I would never say, instead of going to CVS, go to your local pharmacist. But you know, again, you, you have to support your neighborhood, okay? Uh, again, we're fortunate enough that for all of us who have been trading for a very, very long time, um, you know, we have the luxury of clicking a mouse. This is what we do, okay? Um, unfortunately, the mom and pop cleaners, the mom and pop pharmacies, the mom and pop grocery stores, they're going to be affected, okay? They're, they're going to be largely affected. You know, you know the, the people who, uh, you know, who take care of your, uh, take care of your kids, but your whole area, no matter, how, no matter where you live, if you love your neighborhood and, you, and, you know, people, multiple, you know, nationalities and multiple religions and whatever the case may be, everybody makes up your neighborhood, okay? Uh, if you can, you have to support the neighborhood because again, as we all talk about, well, just quarantine everybody, right? It doesn't make a difference. Quarantine everybody. We're saying that from a trading point of view because we got our mouse, right? We have our mouse. We can click the mouse. We can stay patient, blah, blah, blah. But again, some of these small, you know, smaller uh, boutiques and smaller businesses, they, they can't survive two months. They can't survive a month. Okay. Uh, people have lives. So if you can, you know, support your local business uh, at the end of the day, it's great and all waiting for a trade and waiting for it to confirm and making some money. But again, if, if you're not, you know, if you're not in an area that is thriving or at least holding above water that you can't support, um, you know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, you know, kind of moving forward in life. So just try to uh, definitely support your uh, local area um, if you can, you know, if you absolutely can. Obviously, this is a, a very tough time for a lot of uh, people. But kind of going back into the market, uh, you know, you, you look at this, you know, you look at today and it, it's almost a win for the, you know, for the market. Um, you have your, you know, you have the Fed continuation of, um, you know, continuation of inflows of money, QE forever. Uh, you know, the Senate's having a, a really difficult time uh, passing more stimulus that's going to be put on for hold, kind of failed twice. So you have a lot of moving parts. But again, the, the theme is for, for the things that we control. Again, I've been saying this in every video, 
stay at home. Just stay at home, guys. There's nothing out there for you, okay? There really is nothing out there for you. I know you're going stir crazy. Everybody is, like today it's raining in New Jersey, raining and snowing, okay? So I haven't been outside only to walk my dog. Yeah, I'm going a little bit stir crazy, but I get the big picture, okay? I'm not gonna go anywhere to jeopardize my health, jeopardize my family's health, or jeopardize tens of thousands of people indirectly by the chance of me going out and kind of, you know, rubbing something or putting my mouth or touching, you know, something. So do our parts. It's the only thing we could control. Do our parts, uh, stay home. But kind of going back to the market, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but kind of going back to the market today, uh, if you look at the action today, you really did have some pretty good, pretty good value today. It was spread out, okay? I will tell you that. It was spread out in value. And again, nothing, nothing kind of moved the needle as far as bearish to bullish sentiment, none of that. But it was very nice to see at least the market didn't implode down two, 3,000 points. Again, 500 points in the Dow, it almost seems like a flat day, okay? From the, the kind of swings that we've been seeing, down 3,000, down 2,000, down 2,500, down 500 almost is like, okay, whatever. But the most important part is you know, the, the market that I trade, the market that I concentrate on, the NASDAQ 100, the Qs, they were actually green on the day and you saw some really good strength. Uh, Zoom continues to be, again, the, 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 the biggest benefactor from the stay at home un, uh, movement, companies, everybody's using them. Everybody's using Zoom. I use Zoom. You probably, your company uses Zoom or your kids are probably gonna use Zoom for, for the next several months while school is still in session. So they are definitely the greatest benefactor. But again, you had other names that started doing well. You had, you had Netflix of all things. Look at the, does anybody even realize that Netflix actually had this run? Okay, I, it didn't dawn on me until like after the close that Netflix today actually remounted and reclaimed the 50 day moving average. Okay, let's roll with that, right? You had Amazon. Again, Amazon continues to be uh, delivering every single product underneath the sun. Uh, the Prime service is phenomenal. And we're like a day away from Amazon reclaiming the 50 day moving average. Again, you have to get your blessings, right? You have to get your good news from somewhere, right? From somewhere. And again, it's not going to happen all in one day. It's not going to happen uh, in one week, but it's going to happen. The question is when. Even Tesla, right? Even Tesla that, you know, the, the, the worst, the best stock of all time. Again, two days in a row, reclaim the five-day moving average. Again, baby steps. Is this, you know, in the sweet spot of these stocks? Absolutely not. But baby steps. We're getting somewhere, right? We're actually going in the right direction with some names. Not everything, obviously, but some names. If you look at NVIDIA, for example, again, reclaimed, you know, reclaimed major support and reclaimed the five-day moving average. Again, that's the short, shortest-term sentiment. That's bullish. Again, we're stones throw away from reclaiming the 50. Again, cross your finger, cross your finger, cross your finger, cross your finger. Roku, again. Biggest move today, right? This is the absolute biggest move today. Held the five, reclaimed the 10, and now it's going right back into, it looks like it's, it wants to test this 94 area tomorrow. Again, baby steps. Is this the bottom of the market? Absolutely not. If you've been watching uh, video after video after video, we, we kind of went through this in nausea, what has to happen. Um, we're not even close to there yet, but again, I'm hoping I'm wrong, right? If this market can recover and this market go, you know, if we start going to numb into every single coronavirus headline, I'm with that, right? I'm with it. You know, I'm with these stocks reclaiming major levels and going higher. Again, unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. But again, you have to have some sort of optimism somewhere in this grim death septic tank of life that we're living in right now, that we're trapped at homes, right? On, homes, uh, on home arrest, you need to believe in something. If you are a trader and you do trade channels and you do trade intraday, again, at least you're getting some price action on both sides. And again, I, I, I say this all the time, unless you're coming in with some positions overnight to the downside, your value pretty much every day is to the upside. It really is. And if you look at our pivots, uh, if you look at, there's five pivots today, right? Literally five pivots today uh, that triggered, that confirmed in second entry, four of them were long, one of them was short. And, but again, that shows you where the value is. It um, hopefully translates into more in the, excuse me, more uh, intervals being confirmed and reclaimed down the road. Again, baby steps, one step at a time. But the most important part of all this is, again, trade with your brain, live with your brain. You know, this, this, this isn't a time to be, you know, one of these gung-ho, banging your chest uh, traders. Trade by trade, okay? Trade by trade. 
hour by hour, minute by minute, stay alive, stay solvent, stay in business, most name of the game. So we, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of in this weird area. If you look at the cues, uh, just from the technical point of view, for, for the market to have a little bit of a more sustainable rally and for some of these stocks to kind of wake up more aggressively on a broad base, the Qs are going to need to reclaim this 175. What is it? 175.50. Everybody see this orange line? You see how the you see how the if, on this whole way down, you see how it kept on getting rejected off this orange line, right? Rejected, 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 right? So we're gonna have to reclaim it. We have to reclaim it and remount it on a close. In case you're wondering what that is, that's the five-day moving average again. For all you guys who've been watching these videos for a long time, not a lot of people put a lot of stock in the five day. I do. For me, it represents the shortest term sentiment. So it's crucial for us to have any multiple day rallies or even one more day rally. We need for these cues to remount and reclaim uh, this 175.50 on a close. And again, if you believe in stocks, trade, supply, and supply, and demand, and demand, and obviously, like I do, then you can see 175 goes to 182 and then 193 again. Let's not put the cart in front of the horse, but at least it's something for us to have, you know, kind of hang our hat on and, and, and see if it could actually play out uh, that way. So uh, again, it wasn't one of those, uh, it wasn't one of those gangbuster, everything, you know, spiked at the same time, everything is going nuts, but we had some value, okay? And, and again, as I say all the time, it's not about how many trades you put on, it's how many trades you put on properly. And if you look at how, the day begun today, again, the market gapped up because of a uh, big reversal, gapped up because of the Fed buying back all these mortgage-backed securities, treasuries, QE forever. They went red. Everything, again, was right in the middle of the channels. And it becomes a very, very hard time because, again, you, you can't guess what's going to happen next, right? You, 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 you have to wait for confirmation. So a lot of stocks were in the middle of the channel. So we had to wait, and we had to wait, and we had to wait some more. So I said, very tricky open, uh, stay patient. So uh, let's talk about this. Uh, Tesla, 455, 456 needs to build. Nowhere near it, right? Obviously, no, nowhere near it. This is going to be actually a big number going forward. So if all you guys set an alert at 455, 456 in the next few days, because if it starts building, it actually could wake up. We saw some 475, 480 calls uh, on weeklies uh, being traded today. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, this was a big move. And it, it set off, this was the biggest move of the day. If you look at Roku compared to everything else, with the exception of maybe uh, Netflix and obviously Amazon, which we had both pivots as well, Roku actually had the biggest move. The first move is like $3, uh, 80, 30, 80, 50 uh, needs to build. If you guys remember 80, 20, right? 80, 20 was Friday's highs. So it needed to rebuild and claim that 80, 20. And this thing exploded. I mean, really, really exploded. This is the whole range right here. 80, 30, right? 80, 30, 80, 50. The first move was into the 83. So you had a $3 candle right away. And there was a couple of Couple of you know, a couple of pivots afterwards, but this is more you know, this is more continuation than an actual pivot. Uh, here was your pivot of confirmation, this 80, 30, 80, 50 level, big, big move uh, out of supply. Uh, Nvidia actually got there, but it got there after another pivot. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Alibaba 84.50 never got there. Uh, car, you know, it went red to green. Again, like I said, red to green is not a pivot. It actually went down like 70, 80 cents. It really needed to, to flush below $10, which it didn't. So again, still on the back burner. I can't imagine people renting cars anytime soon, but again, we'll see. KRTX never made it to 75. BYND never got to 55. NVIDIA never got down to the 198.50 level. So where's the value? Let's get to that in a second. So that's the whole point of kind of waiting, right? That's the whole point of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. The hardest part for a new trader to do is sit there and wait. Everything's moving, right? Stocks are moving. Everything's moving. Oh, everything's moving. The lights, the cameras, the action, social media, everything. Calm down, right? You wait for these channels to form nice and easy, nice and calm. You wait for confirmation. You do the second entry. And stocks should move, and that's what they did. And you know, here's here is my first trade of the day: uh, Netflix, right? Uh, three fifty-five, fifty, three fifty-six. They got to upgrade this morning from Baird. Uh, needs to confirm not only on the sixty-minute candle, but the daily channel. And Netflix exploded. I mean, it really did, uh, really exploded. So here is uh, here is the supply right here on the on the sixty. Here was the supply right here on the daily, and they both confirmed big, big run. Uh, big, big run on Netflix. I caught it for a little less than $3 and then it came. It, the funny thing is I sold it up here. It actually came in 10. 
That's how crazy, you know, that's how crazy the market is. Kind of came in 10 and then kind of woke up uh, towards the end of the day, but no, nice trade there. Nice trade on, on Netflix. As you can see here, Roku take on the way up, uh, Netflix wait, take on the way up. Uh, Amazon, and again, getting hit, it never, it just never flushed below the $10. Amazon exploded. Again, here's where everything, not everything, but here's where the value started coming in. You had Netflix, you had Roku, uh, Amazon, big move in Amazon, uh, 1884 needs to build. Here was Amazon right over here. Congratulations to all you guys who took Amazon. It was right over here, right here, 884. Uh, it took, got above 884, went all the way to the 1920 level, big move on Amazon. Uh, and let's see here, let's see here. Yeah, super patient. The ones that confirmed went well. That's the whole point. Uh, Amazon then triggered. Uh, Facebook, to, this was the only short of the day. Facebook, uh, 144.80, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, if you look up here, it says take on the way down. Use obviously break even as you stop. Um, I, you know, I thought the stock was going to get to 142 and a, I thought the stock was going to get to 142 and a half. And if you look at the low, da, 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 right? So here's 148.80 and it went right down to 42 and a quarter. I thought it was going to get down to 42 and a half. Excuse me. So, you know, nice move on Facebook as well. Uh, Tesla 436 only went up four. I know I say that and, and, you know, I say that with a straight face. Usually a $4 candle is a $4 candle, but uh, this one only went up four bucks. Uh, so here is the... 36 and it went to uh, 340. Again, if you took the trade, good job. Uh, I was at lunchtime for this, so I missed it. Uh, Nvidia absolutely exploded. Okay, absolutely exploded. 211 needs to, to build and the video went nuts. So here was the 211 pivot on the video right here, right? 211 pivot on the video. Remember when we were talking about 216 pre market? It took out the 216 and went to 216 and a half. So obviously, 216 and a half, 17 will be the magic number uh, going forward. So again, it was one of those days, yeah, take on the way up if you got it. Um, and Amazon, $20 spike. So it, it wasn't one of those days that everything went nuts the whole day. It was more like two pivots, two hours later, two pivots, two hours later, two pivots. It was kind of spread out, much more methodical day, a lot more chop. But the most important part is, again, it's not style points, okay? Uh, it's not cool points. It's not style points. Uh, there's no, there's no, you know, there's no creative way to do this. You have to wait for your pivots, wait for confirmation and strike with extreme confidence, prudence, obviously watch the futures, make sure liquidity is, is good, make sure the spreads are tighter and good things usually happen. Guys, God bless everybody. Please stay safe, uh, support your local business, wash your hands, stay home and with God's help, we'll do it again tomorrow. Take Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.